There's constant comings and goings at this house on the outskirts of Bishkek. This is no ordinary residence. Until Wednesday, it was home to President Kerman Bekbakiev and his family. Look at this photo. It's Tatiana Bakieva, the president's wife. Look at all those diamonds. She's covered with them. This family stole from the people. They killed and massacred people. Faced with mounting unrest, the president and his entourage fled to the city of Osh in Bakiev's home region of Jalalabad. He left behind most of his expensive possessions. Losers are now taking everything they can from radiators to marble sinks. A sense of anarchy now prevails in the capital with police and soldiers gone. The people have taken over the streets. Protesters occupy the presidential palace. It's sweet victory for demonstrators following the violent clashes the previous night. You can see on this gate the bullet holes. Snipers were shooting from the palace roof. I was here the night before. I saw a guy get his brains blown out by a bullet. Opposition leaders held an emergency meeting to set up a transitional government. It's headed by Rosa Otanbayeva, who's a former foreign minister. Though she was once close to Bakiev, she quickly became a firm critic of his drift towards authoritarianism. The people were deceived. Power fell into the hands of those that betrayed them. They held our people in contempt. We must not make that mistake again. We will do our best to run this country with more justice and freedom. New elections are set to take place within six months. Otumbayeva also promises a national day of mourning to honor civilians who failed during the insurrection.